May 6th, 7th, and 8th, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Wow, so Sigmund Freud's birthday just arrived. I love this man, mostly because he invented the term the unconscious mind. We never had this word before, that there's a part in your psyche that's operative, that's actually controlling your whole movie. It tells you what you're feeling, it activates you when you're getting your buttons pushed, it gives you the urges, and yet we never had that term. We didn't really know the psychological term. So the sun's in Taurus and the moon is in Libra. This is earth and air, and they're both ruled by Venus. So in the name of psychology, or Sigmund Freud, to be able to be gentle, which is really what the flavor of Taurus Libra is, they're both artistic, they're both very kind. Let's talk about Taurus. Their whole energy is to be able to be grounded enough and kind enough to take care of you. Now, they tend to neglect themselves and they suffer from like an insecurity because they're constantly comparing themselves to others. Then you add Moon and Libra, who's all about service and do you like me? And this combination as a personality type makes for so much sweetness, but in the name of the unconscious, the sweetness is extending itself at its own expense. Those pleasers in the world, they want to make you happy and they adjust themselves and they do what you want to do and they compromise. In the end, they get pissed off. And when a Taurus gets pissed off, not a good story. So really what you want to pay attention to in these three days during this weekend, it's sweet. It's kind. It's a great time to go outside. It's a great time to paint or to do colors, Taurus Libra, or to figure out how you can make and bake um, some food for people and make them happy. But don't leave yourself out, Taurus. And if I had one piece of medicine for Taurus, it would be to say to you, there's so much more that you contribute than you know. I happen to love the sign. And I know that when you're a Taurus, you live with a low-grade insecurity, like you're slow and you repeat yourself and you don't have a lot to say. And then the moon in Libra is the sweetness that wants to always make everyone happy. Well, that's a beautiful quality if you don't leave yourself out. And because, remember, I was talking about Mercury and Uranus that were together, that genius influence, this is a perfect time to turn your awareness on. That's what my book, The Missing Element, is all about. Turning on your awareness around your chart and your personality so you don't keep judging you. God was not making a mistake when she made you. She was having a great day. If you're a Taurus, she was just having a day where she wanted to relax and be outside, have a few chocolates, little Libra, and talk to her friends. And then remember to say, I'd like some too, thank you very much. Don't leave yourself out. Astrology Answers told me to tell you that when there's Taurus and Libra together, it's as sweet as pie, but you don't want to not remember to give yourself the piece of pie too.